Welcome everybody to the Mississippi River. Right here, 12,000 miles of water. A network of 219 locks and dams. This year, from just January to May, $5.5 billion worth of soybeans has moved downriver. Also, $2.6 billion worth of corn. Shipping by barge is by far the most cost-effective and environmentally friendly ways to move agricultural products to export, and it all takes place right here on the Mississippi River. <laughs> that a single barge like the one that you're seeing behind me can carry 675 tons of cargo. Barges transport close to 60% of all U.S. grain exports. Billions of dollars are saved annually by shipping on the river versus railroads and trucks. Like how, what would, how would that change life if this was just doubled in size? If this lot was 1,200 feet, we'd be in out of here in 15 minutes. And there's 27 of these lots. Yeah. And only three of them are like that. You know, all the rest of them are like this. The Army Corps of Engineers works so hard to keep the Mississippi River cargo system working. But the problem is, it's 90 years old. Every year, we can't just go and fight for this funding. Some it of those lots are learning a lot of work. Right. It needs to be in the federal budget. So, so yeah, that that's lot, my lot goal. Of, a lot of these blocks are very had very little work done no. to them since they were built, they were built. in the twenties right. and thirties during the yeah. depression. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to take fourteen billion dollars just to keep them working, let alone the investment that we need to make to make them work better for the future. The lock system. Think about this. It's like a stair step. So where we are right now, we're on the upper part of the lock. So we had to send part of our barge through the lock to get it to go down about 10 feet. Do y'all want to go out on tow and watch the lock being made? Yes. Also, people don't realize this has to happen in every kind of weather. Every lock. It doesn't matter if it's snow, shine, sleet. It doesn't if matter. This is covered in ice. You got to do it. Whether wow. it's ice, snow but you always manage the risk. Right, right. And then we are waiting to go into the lock so that we can go 10 feet down. We push these all back together. They are coupled back together. Then we make it another hour or so downstream and we've got to do it all over again. The reason being, this part of the river has such a decrease in the elevation because when you think about it, we've got to go from about 600 feet above sea level here down to New Orleans, which of course is sea level. So how do you know? Like, what is the thing that you look at to determine that you've got too much water? So when, um, automatically when you start, you always just do a third. That's just okay. the safe. And then as you watch it go down, you know, I do about every two rungs, see those metal yep, rungs yep. on the wall? About every two of them. chamber of a lock, like what you see right here, takes anywhere between 10 minutes and one hour to either fill or empty. So moving barges up and down the river, it takes resources, it takes people to operate this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The solution is modernizing the nation's most important inland waterway system. It ensures that American goods remain competitive on the global market. Now more than ever, we need to make sure that the funding is there in the president's budget to get things done.